Hello, welcome. This is One India News, and I am Akash. Now, if today you are going to the bank to deposit your old currency note, then you would be handed out a form that you have to fill, and uh, it might come as a surprise to a lot of people because it was not told um, in any of the briefings, uh, even by the RBI or by Prime Minister Narendra Modi when he announced the uh, discontinuation of the 501,000 rupee note. Uh, but uh, yeah, when you will go there, then you will be handed out a form which you have to fill in order for the government to know that. Uh, who is the person and how much cash that they are depositing so we will tell you what form look like firstly you have to write the name of the bank and of course the branch where you are submitting the first box would be of your name you have to write your name in capital letters it could be in hindi or in english then the next table is of the identity proof that you are giving that you are showing to the bank over there and um, it, they have various options you got aadhar card driver's license voter id card passport narega card and pan card these are the seven cards that the government has validated for um, citizens to show at the bank counters and through which they can deposit their money and after that you have to tick which identity proof that you are showing and the box next to that is the identification number now every uh, be it the aadhar card be it the driver license be it the voter id card uh, be it the passport be it the narega card or be it the pan card every card has their unique number so you have to mention that number and you have to mention that number in bold letters and after that the next table is the the detail of the old high denomination bank note submitted for exchange so you have to count the numbers that if you have like if you are submitting 22 numbers of 500 uh, notes then you have to write that i am submitting 22 notes of 500 rupee denomination and what is the value of those notes and the same way goes for the thousand and then you have to do the total and then write it in numerics and then you have to write them in alphabets also after that there is a signature that the person who is submitting the money the, the signature is required and of course which place are you depositing in and what is the date when you're depositing it so this is the form that you have to fill and of course whatever identity proof that you're carrying you have to carry a xerox copy a photocopy of that which would be submitted with your form so this form and a xerox copy would be submitted with the cash that you are going to deposit in the bank Well that's all for now but for more news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to like and share this video